All right, your semester has started, but you're starting to spin your wheels. Classes are getting harder. You're taking on too much. Maybe you failed your first test. Where do you go from here? This is the Medical School HQ YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like if this video gives you some value and leave a comment below and let us know how you have overcome starting off your semester slowly. All right, so you just took your first quiz for chemistry and you got your grade back and you didn't do as well as you wanted. Where do you go from here? The first step in trying to figure out how to improve is recognizing that you need to. I talk to way too many students every year who have struggled semester after semester after semester. And I ask them, what happened here? And they're like, well, I thought I was doing okay. I'm like, well, obviously not. Your grades don't tell me that story. Your grades tell a story of struggle. And if you can't recognize that, then you will never improve. So the first step to fixing your grades, to finding help, is recognizing that you need help. You have to recognize it first. So after every day, after every week, after every month, every quiz that you take in college, ask yourself, how did I do today? How did I do on this test? Did I give it my all? Are there places where I could improve for next time? What's the grade that I got back on this test what I wanted? Was it what I was expecting? Maybe you were expecting a bad grade because you didn't study very much, and that's okay. If you were expecting it, you got what you deserved. But if you thought you studied hard and you still didn't get the grades you needed, then maybe something else needs to change. The first step for you is recognizing that you need to change. The next thing to do is really going and asking questions. The first place you should go is to your professor. Talk to him or her. Let them know that you're struggling. Let them know what you did to prepare for the quiz that maybe you just failed. And maybe they will have some insight into potentially how you can improve next time. If you go to your professor and he or she has some insight for you, make sure that you implement that advice. A lot of students will hear their professor's advice and go, yeah, that's not gonna work for me. And then you keep repeating the same cycle over and over again. As Einstein said, insanity, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. If you keep doing the same thing and you're expecting a different result and it's not coming, it's not the professor's fault, it's yours. The next place to go is your academic advisor. Now, if you're at an institution that has an academic advising center, go there, talk to them. They will have resources for you. Hopefully they'll have some free tutors for you as well. Seeking out help from a tutor is not a sign of failure. It is a sign of strength. It is a sign that you are smart enough to know that you are struggling and you need help. If you don't get help and you continue to struggle, you may not get into medical school. Your grades may not be good enough to get in. And to try to overcome those bad grades is gonna take a long time and a lot of money and a lot of effort. And at some point, you're gonna to have to learn how to study anyway. So do it now. The next place to go is right here. You're on YouTube already. There are some amazing YouTube channels out there teaching you the subjects that you're struggling in. If you're struggling with organic chemistry, check out my friend Leia Fursai. Her channel has amazing content on organic chemistry. Obviously, Khan Academy is a huge site to help students in every subject. Go check them out as well. You can also look at joining a group. We have the Pre-Med Hangout. We have over 9,000 students as we're recording this video, helping each other every day. Go and ask questions in there, how to improve, how to overcome. And last but not least, if you are changing, you're trying to improve, you know the material, but your grades still aren't reflecting it, if you go and you talk to the professor and she quizzes you and you know the material, but on the test you still struggle, then I encourage you to go talk to your physician and get some testing for a learning disability like dyslexia or something else. I've talked to several students who have struggled and struggled and struggled 
only to find out that they were struggling with dyslexia. They knew the material, but they couldn't put it together on test day. And with the proper techniques and the proper accommodations, they've overcome their dyslexia. They've improved their grades. And maybe that is something that you need as well. So if you are struggling on this journey, make sure that you understand and you recognize that you are struggling and recognize that it's a sign of strength to ask for help. If there was a resource that you used that I didn't talk about in this video, leave a comment below and let your fellow students know. Don't forget to like this video if it gave you some value and subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified of new videos every week.